Hi everyone, how are you doing? Hope you've had a good week. Um, hope you're all okay, not too many coughs or colds or runny noses. Um, hope you're all managing to stay healthy and happy and school's going really well. Um, this week we're looking at Acts chapter 5 and we're looking right at the end of it. Um, and in it we've got these characters here. Dun, dun, dun. We've got Paul and Barnabas and one man is called John Mark and one man is called Silas. And they're the characters in our story today, we'll get to these in a bit. But in our story, oh no, they have an argument. They fall out with each other, which is not very good, is it? And actually what happens is, two go one way, and two go another way. So they split up. <gasps> they fall out so bad that, whoop, instead of being a group of four, dun, 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 well, Paul and Barnabas, they go separate ways. Which sometimes can happen, can't it, when we fall out with each other and we don't sort it out. So we're going to think about arguing today and how we might be able to sort things out or why it's important that we sort arguments out. Um, before we do that, I've got a challenge for you. Can you build a bridge? So in a minute, use whatever you've got in your house. You might have bricks, you might have some recycling. Ask your parents or your carers to help you to see who can make the best bridge. Maybe your bridge is really good at holding things and can carry lots of heavy things. Or maybe your bridge just looks amazing. Or maybe your bridge is really good at joining one side of the room to another, something like that. See, who, see if you can do that. So if you want to do that now, you can pause the video and build a bridge. How did you get on? Did you build a good one? Maybe you could take a photo of it or if you haven't de demolished it already. Mm -hmm. Uh, and send it, put it on Beyond Sunday or something like that if you wanted to, that would be cool. Um, and why did we build a bridge? Well, because sometimes if we have an argument, if there's two people and they fall out, I hate you, I hate you, and they fall out with each other, they need a bridge, don't they? They need a bridge so that they can get back together again and meet each other halfway or something like that. So sometimes when we talk about arguing, when we talk about how we can sort it out properly, Sometimes somebody has to make effort to make sure that you say sorry and that you might want to forgive the other person and say, I forgive you for what you did, and then you've built a bridge then to sort it out. Not a real bridge, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to read the story from the Bible, or tell it to you, um, or there's a video version of it as well that you can look at online, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, so in our Bibles, in Acts chapter 15 it is, Verses from 36 to 41. So it says, After some time, Paul, should we make this one Paul and this one Barnabas? Paul said to Barnabas, We have preached the message of the Lord in many towns. We should go back to these towns and visit the believers there and see how they're doing. Oh, yeah, Barnabas says, Good idea, but please can we take. Ba -ba -ba -ba. John Mark with us too. Oh, you want to take John Mark with us? Paul didn't like that idea. Oh no, I, I don't think we should take him with us because last time when he came with us, he came part way, then he decided it was too much for him or whatever, and he went home and he didn't help us out anymore. I don't want to take him with us because I don't think he's going to be able to do it this time. No, no, Paul, honestly, this time he'll be fine. Honestly, he's he's grown up a little bit more, he's older, he knows what he's in for. So actually I think it'd be a really good idea if we take him with us. No, I don't want to take him with us. I want to take him with us. I don't want to take him with us. I want to take him with us. I don't want to take him with us. I don't want to take him with us. <gasps> and guess what happened? They just argued, argued, argued until they couldn't agree. They didn't find any way to build a bridge to agree with each other or to settle the argument. And so what happened was Paul took another man, Silas, with him. And Barnabas took John Mark with him. And they went in different directions. They went off in different ways. Barnabas, Barnabas went to Cyprus and took John Mark with him. And Paul went to Antioch and Syria and other places with Silas. And that's what happened in the story. So they didn't really sort out their argument. They went separate ways. The good news was 
that because they went different ways, they still were telling other people about Jesus. So that was good. They hadn't just stopped doing that. They carried on doing that, so that was good news. But it was sad that they couldn't settle their argument. Now, I've got a video that the link is in the video here. The link is in the resources. If you can watch this video, um, then pause it now and watch it. Your parents will see the link or your carers. That's great. But if not, don't worry, because I'm going to talk to you about what happens in the video. Okay, so watch the video now if you can. It's the one with the Orbeez in it. Okay, did you watch that video? Did you see what happened to the Orbeez when they went in a hot pan? If you didn't, don't worry, because we'll talk about it now. What happened in the video is the man starts off with all of these Orbeez and he splits them all up into the different colours. I don't really know why he does that, but if we imagine all the different colours are different people and they're different points of view. So he starts off with the red, the pinky red ones, and we can pretend that the pinky red ones are Paul. Did we say this was Paul? Yeah. So the pinky red ones are like Paul and they think the same as him. And when they go in their pan, they start bouncing and they quite, get quite noisy, don't they? In the hot pan, they're like, pew, 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 all over the place. And actually, then we see the blue one, which could be like Barnabas. Where was he? This dude? I think it was this one, wasn't it? So Barnabas can be like the blue ones, and he's saying, I think we should take John, John Mark with us. But the ready pink ones, Paul, not listening too noisy but Barnabas gets noisy and the ready sorry the blue ones just get noisy bouncing in the pan and they're pinging all over the place and then we see the purple ones and then we see the clear ones and then we see the yellow ones and the orange ones and all the time every time he puts them in the pan they're pinging up so loud they're shouting their side of the story so loud you can't really hear what they're saying can you and when all the different colors come in together you can't hear the pink one, or the blue one, or the white one, or the yellow one, or the orange one, because everybody is shouting too loud, all the Orbeez are pinging off too loud, and it's impossible to hear. And sometimes when we argue, that's what happens, isn't it? One person just gets louder, the next person they get louder, and everyone's just too loud and they're not listening to each other anymore. And that's when arguments can turn bad, because you're just shouting things, and you're not listening, and you're never going to sort it out. Then in the pan, in the video, what did he do? He poured cold water, didn't he, over them and he cooled them all down. And as soon as they were cool, they just settled in the pan and then it was fine. If you were arguing and you, um, you'd be able to hear what one person says. So sometimes we have to do that when we're arguing. We have to stop and we have to cool down. And then when it's when we come back, that's when we'll be able to listen properly and hear. So maybe Paul and Barnabas, maybe they did do this, but they just couldn't agree. But sometimes if we just stop shouting at each other, cool down, we'll be able to hear properly, and then we can sort it out. And that's really what I think Jesus wants us to do when we argue. Jesus doesn't tell us that it's bad to argue. He tells us that it can get very unhelpful if we don't listen to each other, if we don't care about what the other person has to say, if we just think that we're right all the time, that's when it can get bad. But sometimes he knows that actually there's a time for us to be able to say to each other, uh, I think that's, that's not right what you're doing, or this is what I think God would say, but it's how we do it. So before we finish today, can you remember the names of the men in our story. Can you remember what they were called? Can I even remember which ones were which? Can you remember? We had Paul, Barnabas, Silas and John Mark. They were our four people in our story today. And Paul and Barnabas argued about who should go with them on their journey. Did they sort it out well? Hmm. No, not really, because they couldn't agree, and so they actually had to split up, and that must have been quite sad for them. Have you ever had an argument? Have you ever argued with anyone? Maybe friends, or brothers, or sisters? Maybe even parents or carers, but hopefully not. Have you ever done that? Have you, did you manage to sort it out? How did you sort it out? What did you do? What are the good ways to help sort out an argument? What are the things that you can do? 
Think of those Orbeez in that pan. Yeah, you can cool down. You can talk quieter because shouting never helps, does it? You can talk quieter. You can choose what you say very carefully. If you're nasty, that's not going to help, is it? So you can choose your words carefully. Don't be nasty. Don't look down on people just because you think something else. That doesn't mean that you're right all the time, does it? No. So there's some of the things you can do to help sort out an argument. What else can you do? Pray. You can pray, you can ask God to help you and to send, your, send his Holy Spirit to help you. So we're going to just quickly pray now. Yeah, dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you know us so well and you know sometimes we make mistakes and we get things wrong and we have arguments with our friends. Sometimes we have arguments because we really care about something or we really care about what somebody's doing but sometimes we have arguments because we're just a little bit silly and we get a bit nasty. God would you help us when we have arguments to keep our cool, to remember to try and understand what the other person thinks. God, would you give us ideas of how we can sort it out, how we can build bridges. And Lord, would you give us your spirit so actually we would be able to just not have many arguments in the first place. Help us to care about other people more than we care about ourselves. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so there's a few things on here that you can get on with. One of them is the instructions of how to make these characters. You can do that. Um, and I've got an idea of making a poster. You can do that as well. Have a look on here at what there is or um, whatever you want to come up with as well and share it on Beyond Sunday. But have a great week. Try not to argue with people when you don't really need to. There's no point. Um, there's another video on here actually where there's a puppet called Douglas who talks about arguing and that's quite good to have a look at as well. He's got some good ideas and some good things to say so you might want to watch that. Um, but have a great week and hopefully see you on Sunday. Um, yeah, have a good one. See you later guys. Bye.